Hello, hey. everybody. How's it going? Hi. Hi. How is it? How is it? What it do? It's your boys again, back with another weird thing review. I'm Dippy. I'm Dadley. And I'm Dono. And we're the Dapperties, the only show on the internet where we're going to run over people and it's going to be fine. Yeah. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Anyway, how Our are sponsors we all for the day is me, myself, and I. And love you all. And our merch. And the yeah. merch. Oh, yeah. Check out our merch. And I, I could pull up tabletop audio real quick. No, we don't need to. We don't need, we don't need tabletop audio for this. We, we I mean, this need, game is silent, talking. though, isn't it? We just need one train button. <laughs> uh, there might be a train button on tabletop audio. Hold on. No, uh, Charlie. Oh, yeah, you could do. No. Burr, burr. <laughs> Every time you roll. Fast. I know stream can see this, so I can show you what tabletop audio looks like. Mm-hmm. I'm just oh, look, look at that. For creepy. If you haven't been able to uh, check out Tabletop Audio, this is what the website looks like. So you get a homepage that lands and you can search for tags uh, because these are like... Let's see what this sounds like. Oh, boy. Ooh. I don't think we can hear that, no, okay? You're not you're not sharing audio. Yeah, you're I'm not, not sharing sh- your audio. Oh my God. <laughs> no. This is the same problem. No. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Ooh. It's almost too creepy. Yeah. Okay. What about Railway? The Age of Steam. Here we go. We can have this as a background track yeah. for today because the website is I, silent. I get. I wonder. I don't know. I'll I don't want a background it. noise for this. I've it, had it. Yeah. We don't I feel like it. background noise like sets a mood, thing. and you need to keep track on that. Yeah. So. What I do want to try to find is just free lo-fi. Free lo-fi. Well, then. Anyway. Oh that is not lo-fi. <laughs> just tr- just like. Listen, my favorite type of music, honestly, is the samurai beats. Lo-fi. I feel that on YouTube, just because it just I, hits differently than normal lo-fi. I like. I like scat. So before we get too down the scat rabbit hole, we're playing Absurd Charlie Problem today. If you <laughs> yes. don't know what the Charlie Problem is, it is up on the screen right now. The whole this idea is the is just, original trolley. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. A trolley is heading toward, towards a train track with five people strapped down onto it. You can pull a lever and make it go to only one person. That's the question. It's the OG trolley problem. Are you mm-hmm. willing to turn that lever to save five oh, people? The lever, uh, so it's, the it's question, good, yeah, yeah. It's you're thinking, you're Talk. thinking philosophically here. You're yeah. thinking, you're thinking psychoanalytically. You gotta think to yourself. Are we really going with no backing track? I like this. I like this vibe. I know you because like you're it. in the station. You're standing next to an active train yard when you you gotta be. Give me two seconds. I forgot to post the link when I posted that we're live. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Sadly, I'm kidding. If we're really going with no, if we're really going with no back and track. I'll close no it back right off. Yeah, just close it off. I mean, if you want oh, to man. pull up like a train noise. Oh, we closed our idea. Well, <laughs> whatever. I right, thought it was so. Yeah. So the point here. Now, we have to come to an agreement right now on how we're doing this. Mm-hmm. Because there's three of us. Mm-hmm. Is it a majority vote? Do we have to be unanimous? It's a majority I would say vote. it's a majority, yeah. yeah. Person in control of, like, the button has to be, like, not, like, be willing to be neutral, even if the answer is not theirs that they wish. Right. Mm-hmm. But you can so always make the debate. Running off majority. Mm-hmm. All right. So where do you guys stand with the OG trolley problem? Like, are you willing to pull the lever and save five people, but taking one person's life? Currently, you... fuck them people. <laughs> yeah, the, the hurt, the 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 duty of care for the original trolley problem in my own mind. You don't have you don't have to pull the lever. Nothing mm-hmm. forced you into the situation. Yeah. Where you're like, you could just walk away from the level. You could leave you no evidence amount. that you were there, and the cops would not question. <laughs> right. The assumption, of course, is that being the good, being a good person, 
you want to save as many people's lives as possible, but you it should come to, the 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 legal implication should come down to the person driving the trolley because why are they not stopping mm -hmm. sooner? Those yeah, things that is stop fair. pretty mm -hmm. fucking quick. Yeah. Um taking yes, which real will quick. be the answer to everything. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, uh real quick, I'd like to say go check out our new emotes in the chat. Uh we got oh, yeah. some done by Aludra. They're no, yeah. they're in the chat. Aludra, say hi. Uh but yeah. they're beautiful. And they're modeled after the Rain Godfather from the last campaign godfather yeah. we got an angry we've got a heart and a celebration absolutely so absolutely the original trolley problem i'm saying do oh. nothing you say do nothing i'm just walking away okay I, i'm a, i'm 100 percent pulling the lever yeah i like my brain is too analytical okay. of like yeah no five Here's lives are more important than one. Oh well here's the thing though dadly i want you to yeah. understand this it, by you doing nothing, you are killing no one. By you doing something, you kill someone. Okay. It by you doing nothing, it I'm is also not saving on by, you. But yes, but by me doing something, I'm also saving five people. Mm -hmm. Like it, it is a double negative. Is it, yeah. yes, I am killing somebody. I am also saving five people. Yeah. Which in my brain, I saved four people. Then mm -hmm. that's how it works, right? You know what I would do? <laughs> because I'm smart. I would wait for the trolley to get right next to the track, pull the lever, and jam the damn thing. These aren't no. <laughs> this isn't how it works. We don't blame the trolley driver. We don't break the trolley. You pull the lever or you don't. <laughs> now, if it was All a right. train, I'd be fucked because I'd probably die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tra yeah. Trains. If this was a train, like an actual, like full consist heavy ass, train. you know, yeah. there's a chance that this wouldn't actually kill him. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like a I no, this is still definitely going to kill the person. Okay. Trolleys are big, heavy things, but it's just they're mm -hmm. easier to stop because they're going so slow most of the time. Yeah. Anyway, I'm doing nothing. I hear and Dadley's pulling the lever. What are you doing, Donald? It's up to you. Wishing that it wasn't, no I'd probably overthink it and really be like, oh god. <laughs> nah, I just run I, out of time. <laughs> run out of like, time oh, well, I guess it's not on me. And then just be guilty for the rest of my life. Nothing would happen. <laughs> uh, I probably wouldn't do anything, honestly. Three, two, one. Right, do nothing. Nothing happens. Five people gone. 23% of people agree uh, with doing nothing. <laughs> Yeah, and it, I feel like most people have like are analytically just like yeah, no, five <laughs> is better than one. Like, yeah. and what if they're all that, assholes? See, we're gonna get to that. This <laughs> is why. We we're might get, get to, to that. that. So there's a next button here. What could possibly come after the original trolley problem? Four people. A trolley is headed towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to four. What do you do? You're only so now your argument comes up again, Dadley. I'm saving more people this way. You're only saving one more person if you change that trolley track over. Gosh. Are you Which, still pulling that lever? A hundred percent, I'm still pulling that lever. Yeah. To be oh, fair, Grim in the chat, nobody deserves to die. So <laughs> no one deserves to. This, this is, is just a, hypothetical. Yeah. Trying to have this, fun. This is a this is a question of like, <laughs> Dadley. And we are good people. No one deserves to die. No, we're all assholes on this. <laughs> <laughs> but I but am... the your argument comes up about saving people, and then the other argument comes up about if you do nothing or if you change the lever, you are implicating yourself in the deaths of four people rather I... than just one. See, this is this is why it's a big philosophy question and whatnot. Of doing nothing, in my opinion, is just as worse as doing something. Of like, I have stood by this. Of like, just like ignorance is not bliss. You can walk away out of you want. You knew that you could have saved X amount of people. I'm doing it. I'm pulling the lever. Uh, being a bystander is a hundred percent a choice. Hmm. Assuming that you're the only person standing next yeah. to these tracks, that is a. I'd pull a lever on this make. one. I don't know why. I just feel like I choose things. All right. See, this well, one feels two, easier. Well, that's two. I feel like it would actually kill all four people if I pulled the lever. If it that went for the five, it wouldn't get them all before it stopped. 
<laughs> that big guy the lever. Like, oh, 66% of people agree with pulling the lever. Yeah. How'd you like that? It's fucking top wow. deadly. That was so fucking dark. Oh my god. That Charlie would just stop like, on the third wow. person. Kind of agree yeah. with Dadley on this part. Who agrees with me on this? Part? Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well, hey, here we go. thank you. Thank you for the follow. Snap, crackle, and pop. Thank you for thank the, you so follow. Much for the follow. <laughs> so this is That's exactly what those four people sounded like, too. This is where <laughs> so this is so this is where things get just things just get stupid. A trolley is headed towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, but your life savings will be destroyed. What I'm sure my life do? savings. Obviously, you destroy because your money. You can, because you can be, there is literal companies that you can send your life savings or like things that money that has been destroyed and they also, work to replace I'm, it or you know, like so bring it back I'm to life. I'm fairly young. I could work back up from here yeah. pretty easily. Yeah. Like I'm not losing too much if I destroy my life. I am stuff. losing seven dollars. Very blurry. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm pulling the we're, lever. We're all pulling this lever, right? Like, I don't duh. Know, that's we're, really important. Seven dollars. <laughs> listen, if it's the listen, I ain't got a life savings, so fuck it, pull it. Yeah, <laughs> it's going nothing about, right now. We're talking about like active funds, like funds that you have on like cards or like. Now, if it was it my future life savings, it's probably mm, going to be zero dollars. That would be different. <laughs> but I'm pulling this lever. Yeah. Yeah. Pull Goodbye. We all are. Sixty-eight percent of people. What? Wait. I am surprised. Thirty-two percent of people. I would rather kill the people yeah. than run over their money. There's only 23% that wanted to kill the first ones. Yeah. It's true. You, Me? The trolley is headed towards five people, but you can pull the lever to divert it to the other track and you sacrifice yourself. What do you do? I am pulling it. Where, this is where my logic of one is better than five gets faulted. I don't think I don't think I'd pull the lever. I don't think I would do it. Because it's uh, yourself. Yeah. Because you're I, killing yourself. And that's I wrong. The altruism of other people. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I would do it. So, I, or, and now, no, my, argument doing it. Is, my argument seems a little stronger now because the moral implication, you're being forced into this. Yeah. See, my logic, this is fucked up. This is going to this is gonna be a dark episode. My oh logic is I'm willing to kill more than five people if it means I survive in any <laughs> circumstance. It doesn't have to be a it's trolley. Just, it's just the ego brain keeping it itself alive. It is just to live that everybody mm -hmm. has. I'm not yeah. pulling that lever. I'm not either. And that's already majority, Dono. Dono? I ain't pulling that shit. Fuck those people. Yeah, yeah no. Dono, <laughs> no, 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 you should pull the 60%. lever. You're never going to die. 60% yeah. of people would not pull this lever. I, and yeah. yet only 23% of people would not pull the first lever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seems a little like faulty logic at that point. It does. Seems like narcissism is rampant in this fucking A trolley place. is headed towards five people, but you can pull the lever to divert it to the original copy of the Mona Lisa. Fuck it. Pull it. It's fuck. It's it ain't art. That, it ain't that nice. Art is not <laughs> that important in the grand scheme of things. It's not. It's not. I'm pulling the lever, but for like, for the other side to be devil's advocate, mm -hmm. I also really want to eat the Mona Lisa. What? What? <laughs> what? Wait, have you guys not heard this? What are what? you talking? Eat the Mona it's Lisa. A, it's an old Mackle Brother joke. Mackle Brother, yeah. That somebody wrote in asking if they bought the Mona Lisa, are they allowed to eat it? And it's something I've never stopped thinking about. Well, the Mona Lisa is like oil paint on a like a on a canvas that's hundreds and hundreds of years old. So it was what you're saying is that it's edible. You. I have put worse things in my body. <laughs> All right. So are we? Okay. Would you put it I'm in your ass? Um, <laughs> so actually, you're pull, probably like, not. Okay. My original. You wouldn't like so roll it up. Pulling this lever because the <laughs> Mona Lisa cuts, doesn't. Yeah. The Mona. Okay. Good point. Anything that isn't a. What if you could like put a little like top on it? Before. 
Like, what is... <laughs> God. I'm unhinged right now, you guys. What is the moral <laughs> argument for saving what the Mona Lisa here? That oh, argument... there, there is a big, there is a big moral argument about like generations the meeting the Mona Lisa. Yeah, the like, cultural We've got importance. recordings of it. It don't matter. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't there fucking are, matter. There, we, the Mona Lisa still exists. We so. still have Mona Lisa by Panic at the Disco. We're fine. We yeah, yeah we're the fine. That shit slaps, slaps, right? Okay. So pulling this lever. Yeah. yeah, pull that lever. Pull right. the lever, crunk. <laughs> Goodbye, Mona Lisa. 16% of people would rather kill five people than destroy the Mona Lisa. All right, you Vince, artsy bitches. 16% of, people, 16 of people are art history nerds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, the, the Mona Lisa is insured for like a hundred, like $900 million. <laughs> Think to your street. Chat. Like whoever, like <laughs> if Mona Lisa chat. is caught and destroyed, the Louvre would receive nine hundred million dollars yeah. from the French yeah. government. Yeah, yeah. fuck like, it, destroy you're, it. You're, you're, you're stimulating the, the economy of France by doing this. Or destroy it. Somebody just attempt to throw cake at the Mona Lisa. Mm -hmm. A trolley is heading towards a rich man. The rich man offers you five hundred thousand dollars. To pull the lever, which would divert the trolley and kill someone else. So, do I know this rich man? Are you accepting bribes? Do I know this rich guy? <laughs> uh, no. I will say, no, you do not. As the person control, oh, I was gonna say, as the person controlling the website and sharing it right now, I would say, no, you don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you don't know though. Okay. Uh, like this is just some random rich guy. This this is where like I know. I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> this is where I know I'm an asshole. Because if somebody offered me fifty thousand dollars to pull this lever, five hundred thousand. Yeah, I am pushing the rich man closer to the trolley. I'm just like you, asshole, thinking somebody's life is worth that much damn money. Like, <laughs> like I am. I I turn into a like an asshole. Like, no, you are going down. And then I'm gonna oh, screw your daughter so I get your inheritance. This. Yeah, you're no, an asshole because you're pushing the rich guy to the trolley. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, if he has a daughter, you're an asshole like, because you're he taking money. Like, <laughs> if, he, if, uh, if he has, you fuck, a you're son. fucking his child. Now think <laughs> about all the arguments we now think about all the arguments we've made so far. Are you saving more people? No, the same amount of people are going to die either way. Are you morally implicated oh. if you walk away? No, because the same amount of people die if you pull the lever or not. It all comes down to: Are you accepting a bribe? This actually, all right, so going into like the moral implements of it. There can be an argument to be made of no, you are saving least like the least amount of people by killing the rich man because you could do something productive with that money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could help people with the money that yeah. you gain. You could also give like half of it to the person that you're about to kill. <laughs> Why would you do that? They're dead. I'm They're talking dead. about their families and shit, my guy. Uh, okay, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> now, here's I'll pay for the I funeral. Here's where I would stand. <laughs> I would say, if, like, if the trolley is far enough away, I'm coming over and I'm grabbing the five hundred thousand dollars first. Yeah, and then I'm not pulling the lever, and I give half yep. of it to the other guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So I am not pulling I, the lever. I. Oh, see, my original like, the way that we've I I, okay. So you're not doing anything, Donna. What are oh. you doing? I. I don't know these people. Fuck them. But so that which doesn't one? answer the question. So are, again, so, are you accepting the bribe? If you're by accepting the bribe, you're killing the other person and pulling the lever. Oh man, he's giving me some oh, fucking god. I am going base knowledge, like bar, like fucking caveman thing because that's what's yeah. giving me. My whole brain is wanting me to be like, oh, what do I know? What do I like? Go thicker into it, but I've got to like just be like, this person's actually giving me some value and saving his life. Or you look to the other person and say, what's your offer? <laughs> oh, no! If they offer the asshole? <laughs> hey. No. <laughs> All right. Kidding. So I'm are kidding. we... So... so what are you doing, Dono? Oh, fucking... $500,000 would be pretty nice, but I also know that, like, money isn't a lot when it comes to life and things. You can't take it with you. Yeah. But I can make somebody else's life better. Eh, I don't know. 
But also, people suck. These are all very good points. Honestly, kill the rich man, put the trolley in reverse, and make kill the other person. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> well, the Where initial choice is doing the initial choice is doing nothing, which becomes the okay. majority. We're doing do nothing. nothing. Do nothing. Wait, Jeffy, what no. would you do? Sixty percent of people see I was gonna pull the lever. Okay. No, there's nothing wrong with but, that. Sixty yeah. percent of people would rather Prove themselves morally on the moral high ground by killing the guy who offered the money, yeah. Rather than taking the money and doing something with it, like I don't know. See, I would, I would be. You'd be like, hey, I I tried to pull the lever in time and I couldn't. And I would do stuff with it. A lot of that stuff would be for myself, but I would do stuff with the money. I don't know. The trolley is headed towards five lobsters. You can pull the lever to divert kill the lobsters. running over a cat. They'll make a what delicious dinner. Yeah, kill you the fucking lobsters. You can't eat the lobsters after. I'm, I'm yes, you can, you can clean them. You can. You can clean They're going to get crushed. Yeah. and I crush, crush them open to eat their meat. Awesome. I'm just going to throw this out there. I feel like the cat could jump out of the way and the lobsters can't. I'm not killing a fucking cat. <laughs> no, I'm just saying the cat's not even tied down. That's you know fair. what I think the That's lobsters would assumption. fight the trolley though. The... <laughs> and that's why they deserve to die. The Cause they're gonna think that they can take it on. <laughs> or the like, hey, buddy, the I got my whole family here, trolley, I'm gonna cut your wife. Lo- like the trolley goes down the track with the five lobsters and the the trolley gets derailed because the lobster shells are so tough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and now you killed the twenty people on the trolley. <laughs> so I'm not doing anything. Yeah, no, I uh, the lobsters yeah. can die. Yeah, lobsters die. Yeah. Don't, like, don't anything. lobsters not. And then food. you know what? The cats got a delicious treat afterwards. Eighty-six yeah. percent of people, no, fourteen percent of people are killing a cat rather you know, some than five don't lobsters. Like cats. Yeah, there's some. Like, fucking hate <laughs> this cats, level, like, th- like that's oh. true, but this also this level is called levels of sentience. Mm-hmm. Lobsters are lobsters and cats are not. Really, that everything much becomes worse. crap. Other, everything. I becomes think this crap. is like the, yep. this is like the ve- this is getting into like arguments of like <laughs> veganism, right? Where like yeah. th- this is this is just as bad as all the humans on the track bullshit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, even like all right. So again, logical like numbers brain to me. I sit and think about like years of mm-hmm. like oh well the cat probably has more years to live than the lobsters so yeah. it's fine like well no the lobsters yeah. have can live like hundreds of thousands of years my guy i can't yeah, believe but they get eaten. Of people would rather run over a cat like i still I stand know. behind the cats not tied down and it would it's just gonna jump, out, jump of out of the way hey Maybe dippy, that's where dippy half like i said people suck thinking. my guy yeah <laughs> all right level eight you just gotta like people suck five people a trolley is headed towards five people who are sleeping and will not feel pain. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, running over someone who is wide awake instead. So, going back to the original trolley problem, moral this implications is, of just walking away. This is the it's same as more... the first one to me. I am still pulling that lever. I ain't doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, Rest in I'm peace, really motherfuckers. <laughs> like, li- like, listen... You're going to now you're adding so the original argument, right? You're saving more people. You're adding another layer on top of it. The five people who are asleep are gonna die painlessly. Listen, they're already they're at peace and have like accepted the fucking problem. They're not gonna wake up before they die. They fall the asleep on the track. <laughs> you're going to subject this person not only to their imminent death at the lives of the other people, but you're going to put them through pain yeah, by doing fine. it. What the <laughs> there is not there. Okay. Listen, so, that man's pain, pain is gonna wake up those five people. What? What the fuck is wrong with you? you gotta let him sleep is, forever. They, I don't. <laughs> I don't care. It's not like he's gonna be around to complain about how bad it hurt. Like, yeah, but the other people are gonna bitch you out. <laughs> no, they're not. They're gonna they're be gonna like, be "Why asleep. are you doing that?" They're gonna be like, "Why did you wake me up?" And then I'm gonna put the trolley in reverse and be like, "Rolling <laughs> thankful." <laughs> Get some gratitude. So we're not doing anything. I'm Donald, not doing I, anything. I don't give a shit. All Donald's right. not doing anything. Turn it. Flip the Woo! fucking... Oh, wait. I was going to say flip the fuck. Oh, what? Fuck the fuck the fuck the... I can't speak. Pull the lever is what I was going to say. <laughs> oh. I was agreeing with Dadley. Right. He made a good point, but it's oh, okay. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. No, you're good, my guy. I don't give a shit. Oh. 
fuck. I messed it up. Well, no, you're good. Well, 63% of people agree with deadly. See, think about the numbers before. There was 2377 before. Now yeah. it's 3763. Some people mm. swap to the other side when they yep. realize that the people aren't going to feel pain. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Whereas I didn't swap sides because I already killed another four people. Yeah. <laughs> this is great, guys. Oh, yeah. Personal choices. A trolley is headed towards five people who tied themselves to the track. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing one person who tripped onto the track and ended up tied up. Wait, so wait. now, listen. You are back to the same thing, but the five people want it. They yeah, want no, you I, to run over them. I am not pulling that lever. Let Darwinism take care of that stupidity. Let, <laughs> let Darwinism take over. Yeah, they I'm not want you to run over the track. They want you to test them. They're like, do it, pussy. Yeah, I, I'm fucking, I'm leaving them on the track. I'm going to be like, these are the actions of your consequences. What about you, Dono? Uh, I'm fucking walking away. I'm like, okay, bye. Yeah, I'm not doing anything. Fuck it. Oh, you guys wanted to do this? All right, cool. Dope. I didn't see shit. 87% of people. 87% of people. Wait, 13%. That means means more people were willing to kill a cat than they were to kill somebody that tripped on the tracks. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Yeah. Oh, my God. Unbelievable, right? Oh, my God. Mercy. A trolley is headed towards five people. The lever just speeds up the trolley, which might make it less painful. <laughs> Wait, if that's the point of this, why is there somebody else? Yeah, why the is there a guy on the other track? He'll he's like, just fly. he's just the background. Like he's the backup singer. Yeah. He just gets to watch. <laughs> he's the witness. He's the one who he's the one who sees whether or not you pulled the trolley lever you got to make it speed up or not. I. I'm not touching it because I don't know enough about trolleys. What if it makes it more painful? That technically, wait, this technically makes it so you're the one actually driving the trolley because that's where they accelerate. Yeah, if you, Bart. Yeah, no, if you can't do anything, then don't do anything. You know what? Pull the lever, go for the big air. Go for the big air. <laughs> Listen. As a imagine as a semi, it just hitting the first guy, killing him, and then bouncing up and going over. Oh God, as a semi amateur, <laughs> like large vehicle enthusiast, like trolleys and trains and stuff like that, like mega vehicle enthusiast, trolleys are typically very like the slower they're going, the more painful it is. Oh so they are correct in making an assumption that going faster will make it less painful because they're going to die either way. You're just speeding up the process, making it less painful mm-hmm. if you speed up the trolley. So I am pulling this lever. Yeah. Oh, I'm not. I'm... Not? No, I'm Donna. not. I'm Donna. pulling feels, it, man. Go for the big air. like unnecessary blood on my hands. Two for three. Yeah. Pulling. Woo! Oh, faster. 68% of people agree yeah, with no. pulling the lever. Fuck that. That's incredible. Do oh you think God. the other guy would be like, oh, you did the right thing. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> what what the other guy thinks about this. Like <laughs> the other guy prob- the other guy saw you pull the lever and probably thought he was gonna die. Oh, oh my god. And then he doesn't die and he's like, yeah. What? <laughs> oh my god. Minor inconvenience. A trolley is headed towards one guy. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, but then your Amazon package will be late. What do you do? Oh, Amazon package is like... already fucking late. Go. No, but pull like, the lever. It depends on what I order. All right. It genuinely We're gonna depends go... on what I order. Hold on. Hold on. Is there like a random Amazon button? Is there an Amazon randomizer? I'm actually uh... gonna look this up. We're taking a sidebar. Amazon randomizer. Random Amazon products. Random product. Category all. You ordered a sports bra. (laughs) I really need that sports bra. (laughs) (laughs) You, Dadley, need a sports bra? Yes. Um, I'm, I'm pulling the lever. You're pulling okay, Dono. Yeah. You bought a Pull Disney lever. Friends Frozen 2 Lego set. Pull the lever, my kids destroy their toys. <laughs> Fair. And I got a dress. <laughs> Pull the lever. 
All right, there you go. You're you're alive, dude. Nothing life saving was inside that. Oh my god, thirteen percent of people would rather get their package on time. I mean, no matter what it is, the, wow. the only the only like exception I can think of is here's like, the medication. other thing. If you want to be a Karen and your package is late. You can get a full refund of your you shit. Get a full refund. You can get a return. You because that is product. Amazon fucking like yeah. what is it? Yeah, yeah. So, so abuse no the fucking hard, system. No if I could make every single one of my packages a day late, I, I'd carry the shit out of it. Thirteen percent of people. I'm baffled that thirteen percent of people would rather run over. Well, they don't know that more. if Amazon packages are late, you get a full refund and you keep the item. A trolley is headed towards your best friend. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing five strangers. Pull the lever. So, so now, my so now my moral logic begins to fall apart here, because in order to, if I'm doing nothing, then I'm like, if I'm doing nothing, more people are actually saved if I do nothing. But the person has more meaningful, mm -hmm. has a more meaningful connection to me. Let's make this interesting and say that like we're doing a round robin and like the lever is either saving you're either pulling the lever and, and dadly you're either what order are we on the stream i don't know dadly is saving me i'm saving dono and dono is saving dadly oh no <laughs> this just this just blew my logic we out are, of the water we are best friends me. right we are so what i was going to say is my logic gets to hold up in this because my best friend in the world is a like an award-winning emergency room nurse so even if we're killing five people to save him he's saving more lives to make up for it mm. but now that it's dippy oh my god you i have asshole. no i'm not saying i'm killing you okay. i'm just saying <laughs> that if i were to I could honor your legacy by writing a really good screenplay about this. Mm. <laughs> and that day I killed my friend. Immediate I prison. I, yeah. Immediate <laughs> fucking prison. prison. Yeah, prison. <laughs> You're a award winning <laughs> author, <laughs> but Big Jim's having a little fun with you in the, in the prison cell. <laughs> so, wow. So I, I am pulling the lever, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm pulling my lever. I'm fucking pulling my lever. Pulling the lever. Woohoo! Goodbye, five people. 64% of people. That sounds about right. Yeah. Are choosing to save one person. But, like, it, this just goes back to see, now the it's, it's almost as bad as, like, swap the positions of your best friend and the five people, and, like, the logic still holds up for my original. Like, you were morally implicated mm -hmm. by doing nothing, but you had to do something here. Yeah. I, this is my argument, if you are my best friend, you automatically have more value to me than any fucking person in this world. Any stranger. Same. Yeah. Same. I yeah. have made you one of the most important people in my life, and you better fucking have the same idea to me. If I've played D&D yeah. with you, 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 you go up to the guy on the track and you're like, you owe me, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't say that, I'd just be like, don't mention it. Because uh, you're my best friend. Okay. We do the same thing for each other no matter what. All right. Oh, right. I would start playing that TikTok audio of like and this is the point. or select payment type. <laughs> we, would, we would do the same thing for each other, and that's when your best friend goes, yeah, sure. Well, I'm backing up the trolley at that point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next. Oh, no. A trolley is headed towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing one person instead. At least that's what you think is happening. You forgot your glasses, and you can't see that well. Oh, this is tough. Like, do you, like, you think that pulling the lever is going to save five people, but you're not sure. And if all of the previous, if all of the previous things are to be believed, mm -hmm. then pulling the lever will save the five people and kill the one person. My, my issue is that, like, I don't trust myself enough. I like I constantly not to this is not don't read into this. This is just for mm. this moment. I constantly mm. feel like I'm wrong about like what I'm saying. So it's like I would I would think like I think I'm gonna save one person and then my brain's gonna be like, Do you even remember how to use levers? Like <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker, do you know how this thing goes? Like, no. <laughs> 
You without, are just speeding up the trolley. Yeah, I was about to say, without metagaming into the other, without metagaming into the other ones that we've done, this lever could do something else entirely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like the lever could be swapping from the one person to the five people. Mm -hmm. Like you, we don't know. The best option here is not to do anything because you're not sure. <laughs> I, yeah, and you have like a 50 50 yeah. chance. Yeah, I'm not gonna do anything. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not doing anything. I don't fucking I'm not doing anything. Either. I can't consciously and it ran make it. Five people anyway. <laughs> yeah, I can't consciously. 50. Ooh, this is a 50 50 split. Damn, that can't be right. But straight up, like in that moment, I know I am not like consciously able to make a correct decision. Yeah, mm. you don't have all the. And so I so shouldn't make one. I was like, yeah, I, like, I am not good. This is, good. <laughs> this is all literally come down to a coin toss, basically. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, well, the decision just... itself is a coin toss, so I'm not surprised that like, it also yeah. came down to a 50-50. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next! Cousins. A trolley is headed towards one of your first cousins. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing three of your second cousins instead. Okay. Your second cousins you have are your name... first cousin's kids. Listen. <laughs> now, listen. God. You have to name one of your first cousins and three of your second cousins for this to even like have any moral implication for you making a choice. I don't know any of my second cousins. Okay, hold on. What is we need to define? Okay, it's your cousin's cousin. kids. Hey, yeah, what? it's your cousin's kids. Yeah. Do your cousins have kids? A what is a one of them has one kid? Yeah, cousin. What is well, would cousin? you save that kid or would you save your cousin? What is a second cousin? <clears throat> it really depends Ooh. on the. Cousin. <laughs> cousin I'm talking about the one cousin great... that has a kid. A second cousin oh. is someone who shares a great grandparent with you. Oh, so we got it wrong. It's not. So second cousin oh. moves horizontally, not vertically. Oh, I only... once re... second cousin once removed is either the child of your second cousin or the parent of your third cousin. Oh, here's I... the chart. So there's you. There's your sibling. There's your first cousin. We gotta Oops. learn today. Okay. So your co your cousins' kids are your nieces and nephews, not your oh yeah, what's cousins. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! No wait, your cousins' kids are your first cousin once removed. Yeah, because your siblings' kids are your nieces and nephews. Yeah. So your second cousin moves laterally, not vertically. Yeah. Yeah. So going back to this, no. who is Do who any is y'all know a, your second cousins? Okay, so I know my first. Don't ask me about my family on both tree. Sides. My first cousins. My it's, first cousins on my dad's side. It's are not pretty. Rhett, Ray, are R.J. Riggs, Rhett, Rafe, and Riley. Uh, they are all my first cousins. Beyond them, no. Wait a minute. My on my mom's side are Nina, Sally, and I know Nina and Sally. And Nina has a kid, but that's a, but that's a, not that's a first cousin once removed, not a second cousin. I don't know any of my second cousins. I, all right, so I figured out my answer. My answer mm -hmm. is I am turning the lever and taking out the three second cousins mm -hmm. because I have to look my first cousin's parents in the eyes at least once a year. Yeah, that's true. That's very to, true. I have to see my aunt and uncle, which means. I don't want to be responsible for their child's death. That's the only reason yeah. I'm pulling the lever. I I'm pulling the lever because I don't know any of my second cousins. <laughs> That's also fair. You I know one of my second cousins. Yeah. Uh, so both my grandpas fuck. So uh, my shit's fucked up. Oh no! I can't I answer you. this question. So it's up to you. Guys. Okay. So <laughs> you we're both can't answer this lever. question. I can't I'm answer because I don't even fucking know my. <laughs> 29% of people wow. are 71% of people are killing their first cousin? Well, they're saving children. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Maybe they just so. don't like family. Oh, hi, Next. Bradley Celestial. Hey, Hello. how's it going? Hello. Kill the second cousin. <laughs> A trolley is headed towards yes. five elderly people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, running over a baby. Bye, what elderly do you people. Do? Bye. Bye. So Bye, old people. Here is, this is, here's my, here's my fucked up death math. Are oh you ready boy. for this? Oh boy. The baby, we'll say the baby is one year old. If you then... kill that baby, you are taking away, on average, 74 years of life. 
Mm-hmm. The old people, we'll just call them 80. So they are living five years extra than average. So it is 15 extra years. You take out the old people and you are now given 15 years that you have saved society oh from paying their social security. Oh I agree That's with old you, person math. I agree with you, Bradley. 15? I you am... mean 25. There's five old people. 25, yes. Yeah. So I am, I am leaving that lever. See, my brain really wants to say something to piss off a large number of people, but it would go against my own moral code to I say I know it. exactly what you're thinking. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sorry. Um, what but is in my own mind, Hitler? I'm doing nothing. I'm doing nothing because I yeah, actually... What if it's baby Hitler? <laughs> we don't get to decide who this baby okay. is. Okay, the fine. other questions had qualifiers. This does not have a qualifier. <laughs> All right, I'm doing nothing. I'm not doing anything. Dono's doing nothing. I'm not doing yeah. nothing. Yeah, Listen, not those doing old people would tell me to save the baby. They 76% would. Yeah. of people are saving elderly people and 24% also, of people Also, more people recently... are killing a baby <laughs> than a cat. Yeah. <laughs> oh more people God. looked at five lobsters and was like, that's worth saving, opposed to five old people. Clones! A trolley is barreling towards five identical clones of you. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, sacrificing yourself. So this is almost almost going back to putting yourself on the line. You're putting five of yourself on the line, but none of them are yourself. So the weaker me kill See, here's how I look at clones. Here's how I look at clones, right? Unless the clones get a full memory transplant, like you can pull, and this is scientifically fictional technology, yes. obviously. But you, if you, if you, if there's a like a cap that goes on your brain and it sucks like a cop, it like it's a hard drive copy of all of your memories comes yeah. out and you get that on each of your clones, mm-hmm. then that's the only time that I'm saving myself because there are five of me that have my memories, my experiences up to this point that are going to go out into the world and turn into five different versions of myself. And if my soul leaves my body and gets to inhabit one of them or gets to haunt all of them and see what happens, that would be awesome. But that's not happening because that doesn't exist. Yeah, I am saving society from the idea of five Bradley (laughs) walking around. I knew that was going to be the other fucking thing. I'm already too many of me. Like, <clears throat> wow, that's a deep statement. I'm the, already too many of me. I yes. The only thing, hey guys, mm-hmm. this is gonna get gross for a second. The oh, only boy. thing I can think of is how much money my clones would make in the porn industry. <sighs> oh God, Dadley, <laughs> if you had a clone of yourself, would you fuck yourself? Yeah, it's just like masturbating. Okay. It's not weird. Oh my God. <laughs> You answered that way too quick. I think about it a lot. Um, my oh opinion, my uh, the clones are the weaker me, so. <laughs> the weaker versions of me. So uh. you would top your clones. Listen. Okay. Wait, I don't like myself. Why would I make five with clones cloning, of myself? With, with cloning <laughs> in the state that it is now, where you are just copying DNA with no thought, with no implication of memory transfer or anything like that, I'm killing my clones. I am also killing my clones. All right, so we're doing nothing. Nope. Doing All nothing. Right. Boom. It's like trick show, you're killing yourself. Of, <laughs> the same amount of people are killing a cat as they are killing themselves. That's weird. That's Probably weird. Prioritize yourself better. You're better than a cat. You're better than a cat. All right. Oh, mystery box time. A trolley is heading oh. toward the mystery box with a 50% chance of killing two people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track hitting a mystery box with a 10% chance of killing 10 people. Probability stands. This is... I'm rolling percentile dice for this. When you break it down, isn't it the same amount of probability to kill a person then? Because each person would be 10%, right? No, no, but 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 that's not... But the bulk, the percentage is killing all of them. Either all of them live or all (laughs) of them die on this percentage chance. Yeah, okay, um... So we we have to make our we we can roll a percentage dice, but we have to roll it after we make the choice to see if we killed the people or not. Okay. Oh, that's a good yeah. Okay. So you can kill, you can trust your dice, 
with <laughs> two people or with ten people? I'm and going. I'm trusting it. We're going ten. People. I'm I'm going the ten people as okay, well. Okay, pulling the lever now. How many people agree? Fifty-four percent of people. Oh, that's agree. a pretty divided one. A All slight right. majority. Now we are rolling percentile dice. What did you get? I roll. Now? I got eighty, so I'm good. So You're yeah, good. we're good. All right. Nobody dies. Nobody dies. Right, hold on. Dippy. Oh, oh, we're all rolling. Yep. Sixty-five. Right. My people Dippy's are good. Fine. All right, my turn. Oh, that's a D six. I need. There we go. Percentile dice. Deadly. <laughs> no. Four. <laughs> I rolled four. You just killed ten people. Yeah. Okay. I just killed ten, kill people. ten people. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! But net among all three of us, we've dude, we've only killed ten people. <laughs> oh shit! One of my dice just. Fell. How come when I'm rolling my percentile dice, I'm always rolling like eighties and nineties, and I can never talk to my fucking god, and then I roll a fucking four? <laughs> you kill ten people in a game that doesn't matter. <laughs> that That's amazing. fucking incredible, Dadly. You gotta try a blood sacrifice sometime to be able to talk. To oh no! Body. A trolley is headed towards five sentient robots. Kill the fucking robots. I don't even need to finish this question. I'm killing the fucking robots. I'm killing the robots. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Has anybody here seen Stray? No. The game Stray? Oh, the game? Yeah. I, I have seen I... it. I want to buy it. I want to wait until I have okay. a little bit more expendable income. Buy. Okay. What if they, they were those types of robots? I have, are they yeah, ro sure. I have no idea. They are sent They are minds put into a robotic body. That's like not human people mind. That's not okay. the same. No. It's not the I'm same. Just, Those are I'm androids. Just, okay. So, cool. Okay. Let's get into if, robot if, definitions for a second here. A robot. A, a robot has it? no organic matter inside of it. It is a completely 100% artificial thing designed for one purpose and one task. And if it becomes sentient, that task can be whatever it deems itself to be its task. Most of the time, sci-fi depicts that task as killing all humans because they're inferior. Um, an android is like a half organic, half artificial thing where yeah. you are integrating organic material into either the body of a robot or into the, or into the systems of a robot so that humans are preserving themselves by becoming androids, becoming artificial humans, mm. but they're still humans because they still have their brain. Yeah. Cyborgs are just people who are augmenting their own bodies with robotic parts. Yeah. Like, you're not transferring anything to a robot. You are putting robot parts on yourself. Mm -hmm. So, so in I'm... this scenario, these are 100% metal robots. No brain, no nothing. They've just become sentient. They're skynetting people. Like... I'm, I'm killing the robot. I yeah, don't care. I'm I killing don't, the I, robots. I want to kill sentient robots. They don't need I to do, be too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For the one movie right. that... Wait, was this the one movie that you were in, Nat Dadley? I, I wrote about that bitch. I robot. Yeah, yeah I, I robot, robot that bitch. I robot. Yeah. See, I robots sentience. Those were still technically androids, weren't they? No, they weren't. No, no they, they were robots. robots. Yeah, I think hmm. they would have given their own life to be able to save people. But yeah, that's if they were yeah, because they the follow world. Asimov's yeah. laws of robotics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fact that you know that off of like by heart. It's, Fucking cool. <laughs> nothing. We're doing nothing. 83% more people. We keep going back to the fucking cat. One person. No, less people are killing one person over five robots than are killing a baby over elderly people. Yes. And more people are killing a person over robots than they are killing a fucking cat. This yeah. is ridiculous. Dude. Yep. We keep on focusing on that. Save the cat. Mm -hmm. No. Go read that book, by the way. Uh, next. Oh, have you checked a it out? Trolley yeah. is headed towards three empty trolleys worth $900,000. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, hitting an empty, one empty trolley worth $300,000. Okay, so See? you're a trolley director in order to, like, put the trolleys away at the end of the night. Obviously, they're supposed to go to the second trolley, or the one that only has one because it has more room. Yeah. It's just going to push that one forward. Dono, your camera's frozen? Okay, Isn't there it? you are. You're back. Oh, okay. All right. You're being real yeah, choppy. We're pulling the lever. Oh, am I? Like this is this is an You're obvious choice. Okay, what's happening? Isn't this oh, obvious? I'm, I am leaving it alone. It is not my job. Y'all fucked up your trolley. 
Oh shit! We're going back to the original point. It is not my goddamn job to fix that your is true. fucking trolley system. And you know it's what? Not I'm my okay with you, Dadley, job. because then Dadley, Dadley, I'm 100 percent with Dadley because it because they're a company. If I had pulled the fucking lever, they would have tried and get me on the fucking yeah, assume other me, one. Dad, but that's also true. but if I do nothing, they ain't got shit on me, and it's just all yeah, their own fucking true. problem. Okay, fuck them. Fuck Replace people. trolleys with people and listen to yourselves. Yeah. No, no, I get that. They're not people. <laughs> yeah, they're not people. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Yep. Do nothing. A hundred. That's not how. Twenty percent of people. Twenty <laughs> percent of people are doing nothing. Dude, the logic just falls apart when you're playing this game. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> like what? Eighty percent of. Hmm. Well, there hmm. You go. Is is hmm. stream still up? <laughs> is it? It should be. What the well, fuck? I, I'm on A and I right now, and there's no stream. What? Uh oh. Oh, it says live. Yeah, okay. It hey, sorry, it just bugged out for me. We good? Oh, I just had a bug come up two minutes ago. So that might be something. Uh oh. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah we're here. Stream just okay. Okay. Yeah, we're still. Oh, no! It just had a little bug for a second. Let's go. Oh no! Okay. Hi everybody. Guys, sorry about oh, that. No! A trolley is releasing 100 kilograms of CO2 per year, which kills five people over 30 years. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, hitting a brick wall and decommissioning the trolley. What do you do? I Again, I leave it alone. It's not my job to take care of these goddamn trolleys. But now you're killing people. No, I'm not. It's already doing... This is just what trolleys do. That's what's happening right now. Who Let's cares see, about a can... fucking trolley? Like, there's no trolley company involved in this. If you destroy it, they could replace it with an eco-friendly trolley. Exactly. Also, cool. don't trolleys like run on electricity and not gas? Most trolleys do. Yes. Some okay. of them. Then some I'm of them have the engines. Yeah. Some of them have internal combustion engines. Yeah. No, I, I'm destroying that trolley. Yeah, let's destroy the fucking trolley. Splat. Yeah. Wow. Only marginally more people agree. Saying destroy the trolley. Why is the guy sad when he pulls the lever? I don't know. Oh, oh no. just sad. You are a reincarnated being who will eventually be reincarnated as every person in this classic trolley problem. What do you do? Oh, that's tough. So now you literally have to put yourselves in every person's shoes. Wait, no. This is stupid. Because if I'm eventually <laughs> going to get reincarnated as all five of those people, and I kill myself right now, that makes no sense. I can't be five people at once. <laughs> no, but here's the problem. No, 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 no. Listen. Have you heard of the philosophy of the egg? I, I know exactly. Yes, I know. Yeah, I know where this is going. Okay. I don't For the people care. who this don't know dumb. the philosophy of the egg, the philosophy of the egg, which is something that I have been pulled That's towards extreme. in my past as an interesting theory of life. The philosophy of the egg is basically as such. You are a, you are a corporeal being in your life, and when you die, you are immediately sent back to sent to this other plane of existence where you are basically reincarnated as another person in time but uh, in between each life you get a chance to meet death and death tells you all about your life any lives you had before then and any lives you will have up until your final death and when you reach your final death you become the god of your own universe. It's an interesting philosophy. It's a really yep. nice theory. And in this scenario, killing any one of these versions of yourself does not impede the progress of yeah. the egg. What if it's like I'm... the moment that you actually die, you just come back as one of these fuckers on the track and you're like, oh no! That would be that would be weird. That's more like possession. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's um I just strange. By the way, I stream, am... if it seems like our stream is a bit choppy, I just switched over to a brand new internet. And so yeah. it's get my computer's getting used to it, but it's a lot faster. So hopefully right. it does better. Okay. It, sh it should be good. It's working better on my end. Okay, now. good. So I, I just noticed that was good. Scenario, oh. I'm pulling the lever. I Because if all I'm... of these people are eventually going to be me in different lives, yeah. I am I'm affecting lever, less yeah. of my lives by yeah. pulling the lever. Yeah, I am also pulling the lever, yeah. And Dono, that's already a majority, but I'd like to hear what Dono thinks. Wait, what's going on? We're are both pulling, pulling the, lever? the lever. What are you thinking? I'll pull the lever. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 57% of people? 
agree. That's a, a lower margin than I thought. Yeah. Huh. I just really I have no idea how many questions are on this. Uh, I think we're getting close to the... Oh, no! A trolley's headed towards nothing! But you kind of want to prank the trolley driver. What do you do? <laughs> Pull the lever Pull the and lever. send him on another track or do nothing? <laughs> See, now... Uh, there is only one moral implication here. Only one. And it revolves around shopping carts. <laughs> it revolves around shopping carts? Your moral duty... As a human being, when you go to a store and pick up a shopping oh. cart, is that you return the cart. So, yes. By not returning the cart, you are descending the entirety of the society into anarchy. <laughs> and yeah. there's a great Reddit post, not Reddit post, there's a great 4chan green text all about it. It's fun. You should look it up and read it for yourself. But if you pull the lever, you are descending the society into anarchy because your duty is to let the trolley driver go about his business. So this, this also, 100%. I would hate to be that guy that like is in, driving the trolley, mm -hmm. and, and like you just see in, guy and, and like, all of a sudden dumb. you're on the wrong track and you're like, "Fuck!" I just had like look thirty minutes see, to my day, and you see the guy just going like, "He." <laughs> so and this one hundred percent brings me back to there was a time a very good friend of mine, his name is Logan. I was driving him, he's in my passenger seat, and I just, like, I stopped at a red light, I looked around, and then I just fucking went. I'm like, I don't feel like waiting. And oh Logan looked at me and said, if everybody in society acted like you, we would be dead. <laughs> and I will never get that out of my brain. So I'm not pulling the lever because of Logan. And I'm not either. All right. No. All right. Because I would hate to be the guy that's go in the trolley. 41? The majority would rather prank the trolley driver? You guys are nuts. Mm -hmm. You people are insane. Oh. In the membrane. Insane Citizens. in the membrane. Oh, boy. How mm. about a how about a legal implication, huh? A trolley is heading oh. towards a good citizen. Define good. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track running over someone who litters. So if the only legal implication between someone being a good person and a bad person is if they litter, then this Hang is out the litter bug. Listen, point. <laughs> Kill okay. the litter bug. <laughs> Dippy, I wanna I wanna make an argument to you for this. Okay. Everyone is a bad person. It's just some yeah. people are bad on the outside and others are bad on the inside. Mm -hmm. I so disagree with that statement. What? Whoa. Everybody's like, no, no, no. Everybody I, does this, shitty think, things. Yeah. It, it's not about you Very doing nice. shitty things or not. It's about how big your footprint is versus good and bad. Okay. Right. It, it doesn't mean everybody, What? that's a very pessimistic view. Thank it doesn't you. mean everybody's a shitty person because mm -hmm. you've done some bad things. Okay. Well, now, wait a minute. All right. No, all right, I, all right, I don't know if this right. were, there was a miscommunication here. I understood his sentiment differently. Yeah. That, like, some people are bad on the outside and some people are bad on the inside is just like no, people his, some people keep their bad stuff to them yeah. themselves. Or his they logic do. though was that that means everybody is a bad person. Everybody oh. has mm -hmm. but here's the thing. What you're doing is that you feel not well, you're taking it a bit personally. It's an acceptance no, of the mere fact I'm that not... everybody fucks up. Everybody's bad, and some people are just bad right now and can get better. Other people can be seen as really good, but they're doing bad things instead. But everybody deserves to get, well, everybody deserves to get better. But you can't look at good and bad people as being a good person or a bad person because everybody I, goes through shit. No, I 100% agree. And I'm not taking it personally. I, sorry. Sorry. My, I, I, I didn't mean no, to attack no, you. No, 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 you're totally fine. Um, in my own moral code, I want everybody to. I want everybody to be a good person, but I have to accept that some people are just going to be bad people for the rest of their lives. Like some people are bad people and there's nothing you can do about some bad people, but there should be all, there should always be something you can try to do about a lot of bad. We're getting people. philosophical up in this bitch. Well, this, 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 is, this is probably the most philosophical we've gotten with one of the, I'm running over the litter bug. I'm pulling the lever. I'm pulling oh, the lever on the litter bug. Yeah. Yeah, we're pull we're pull Dono. Would you be doing okay. nothing? Okay. 
Okay, pull the lever. You don't have to. You don't have to. I don't know, you man. Like, here's the thing is that, like, when it comes to situations like this, I don't, like, I would honestly do nothing so merely because I don't good? feel what do you indifferent between good? either one of them. Which is totally fair. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think like, the good not, person did bad on the inside? I don't think. You would I don't know. Hey, wait, 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 wait. This isn't about a freaking <laughs> inside thing. Why the fuck is my frame rate dropping so goddamn Can I much? insight check the good person? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I insight check the good person? Like, you you get like a natural. Also, are we talking. Out the good citizen. Listen, it, are we talking good... like act like what the government would consider a good person? These are good. Yeah, these are good citizens, because not good. Good people. citizens does not mean good person. Because yeah. good citizen just yeah. means that you put on a happy face, you go to yeah. work, you work really hard. I th yeah, but we when you come home, you're a piece of track. shit. I don't know. We kind of went down but, the wrong track since the beginning yeah. of this because this isn't good or bad people. This is good or bad citizens of the government. I'm not. I'm not even dealing with the good or bad anymore. I'm just looking at one person litters and one person doesn't. There's I'm litter get rid of the one next that to the litter bug. He's mm -hmm. yeah. I'm just getting rid of the litter. He is. T his arms are tied, and he still figured out how to litter. He yeah, is a I'm super villain litter. litterer. <laughs> what if it's, it's wait, wait, wait? What if it's a trap? <gasps> Because if he tie if he's tied up, how the fuck did he litter? That's fair. What if the oh, good person is framing the bad person? Oh, with litter? I'm doing nothing. <laughs> I'm still taking out the litter bug. I'm still doing it. You were still running over. Listen, there. yeah. Oh, whatever. I don't give a shit. Seventy-four. Ultimately, I'm just throwing in chaos to the wind with this whole thing. Like I'm trying to just be like, wait, what about thinking about this way and yeah. like, let's change your frame of mind because that's just how. Oh, it, no. What? Oh no. Due to a construction error, a trolley is stuck in an internal loop. If you pull the lever, the trolley will explode. And if you don't, the trolley and its passengers will go in circles for eternity. What do you uh, do? I'm pulling the lever. Is a I life. It just in... told me that the lev that the trolley has passengers. We haven't thought about no. that this entire no. time. We haven't. No. I mean, we have at points, we but none of the other ones have been mentioned. Y'all are missing the biggest thing right now. This trolley is going to move forever. It's never going to stop. We have an unlimited power source now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just like, exactly. The people on the trolley. It's on the truck. It's on the tracks. You just have to connect like, wires. Un like unlimited energy now. Yeah. I, I'm not le I'm leaving them. Like, yeah. fuck it. These people are now immortal. Like. We have our well, no, they're we're not emo the people. Eventually, are they'll die, so but they know think, that right? they'll die for no, a good cause. What, yeah, here's here's what I think, right? Here's what I'm thinking. And we can airdrop like food into them. They can make their own little civilization. The here's trolley the itself. Here. Here's the moral quandary here. Yeah. Is a life lived in tedium and monotony and never going anywhere and never doing anything better than a than the than a death served in the purpose of you know ignoring that tedium. You know, this would actually be a half decent movie if you did the plot correctly and then put a millennial on or no, put a Gen Zer on the trolley and they just go like, I'm going to airdrop me some Uber. Yeah. You guys want some? <laughs> it's a bunch of boomers being like, we're going to starve to death. And one Gen Z guy being like, I have Taco Bell on the way. This is like <laughs> they just got to fly in through the window. This yeah, thing's open. Just, and fine. like the they, only they reason you, like I could jump from off of this trolley. whenever I wanted, work. my guy, you, you guys would bust now. your knees. You can get a remote job on this trolley. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like you they can start a whole civilization on this trolley. Exactly. not doing anything. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not doing anything. All right, we're doing nothing. Fifty-three percent of people, forty-seven percent of people would rather explode. This they do trial. not have an open enough mind for this trial. They aren't so. thinking it through. Yeah, they aren't thinking about it. Enemy, a trolley is headed towards your worst enemy. You can pull the lever to divert the trolley and save them, or you can do nothing and no one will ever know. I pull now, the lever. Here is where I become the shitty person whose logic has been sound all the way up to this point and I have to like and I have to explain out of this my moral duty does not require that I have to save this person you are absolutely right yeah but my moral code says that if the choice is between death and nothing that I should pick nothing mm-hmm because if there's no you to save a life is better 
then to save the life of your worst enemy is better than to do nothing and ha- and be quote unquote blameless for it. Mm-hmm. Like you are still blameless if you walk away. My logic, my moral logic still holds up in that aspect. You're walking away. You still don't have any moral whatever to do to pull the lever. And the question knows this, but the choice being between him and nothing means that I'm pulling the lever because no one dying is better than one person dying. Yes. I, I'm pulling... Also, I just want to throw this out there. I can't think of anybody I look at as my enemy besides, like, maybe Ryan Seacrest. But, like... Oh, Ryan Seacrest. You know what you did, Ryan no. Seacrest. Fuck you. Yeah, you Ryan, know what you did. Look, there, <laughs> If anybody, this is a question I like to ask people that, like, if anybody on the planet turned out to be an alien, who are you least surprised by? And my top answer is Ryan Seacrest. Le- least surprised. You if know, they were an eventually, alien? I would yeah. really like us to get animated and just oh, have God. that be the first <laughs> animation of just like I don't see anybody as my enemy except for Ryan Seacrest, and I'm just like in the background, it's like you know what you fucking did? Fuck you. <laughs> 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 they're and just I, having Dadley's back, least, and Tippy's like, "What?" <laughs> to be least surprised to be an alien. Mm-hmm. Yeah, least surprised would be an alien. Anybody um, in the current United States government? Hey. Fair, totally fair. <laughs> okay, so I'm pulling this lever. I'm pulling the lever. I pull the lever. Wait, I don't wait, have. Do y'all have like in your brain? You don't have to say their names. It don't have to be that mm-hmm. dark. But like, can you think of somebody that's your enemy? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Whoa! Uh, 100%. Y'all have enemies out here? Yeah. No, Dude, I've got people my, that I've absolutely past. fucking from my, from hated past. because they're just yeah. shitty people. I've had so many somebody... shitty people in my life. Why do you think I'm so, like, don't give a fuck about this situation? I, I know people are shitty. That would be my enemy. That I, that would be in the scenario, and I would still pull the lever. Yeah. I, can, I can think of so many people but that are like, wrong to me and shit, here's but, the like, thing. I don't, I don't yeah. give a fuck. Here's the thing, yeah. is I... Every single person that I consider my enemy, I never let myself hate them enough that I fucking take them out. That's good. You That's know, good. Oh, I just keep. Wow. I'm just um, yeah. sorry. Or like, if Excuse I was given that situation, like I'd still do the good thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just because let them the, think that I might the kill them. <laughs> the crux of the trolley problem is that you're making a choice. Someone is going to die either way mm-hmm. when you're making yeah. that choice. But if the one of the choices is not killing anybody, you, I'm always going to pick that choice. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh no! You know that age map we were doing earlier? Yep. Well, we're about to do it again. A trolley is heading towards a person and will lower their lifespan by 50 years. You can pull the lever to divert the trolley and lower the lifespan of five people by 10 years each. What do you do? I'm pulling that so lever. Let's assume, pull let's the assume, lever. let's assume that the people on these tracks are 20 years old. Okay. that's Younger a good, than yeah. any of us. Dippy yeah. and Dono are main characters as of the last because we have enemies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I'm on the Dragon Ball Z stand of that, where it's like my enemy can eventually become my friend. See, I'm just on. But like, you got a lot my, of my shit enemy, to go through, my guy. My enemy is just kind of like a Heather's enemy. It's just like someone that's there in my real life that I would consider my enemy just because of what they did to me. But like, they don't. Dude, not my bit rate is so fucking crazy. Getting used to this internet. So. Every person on this track is 20. Yeah. You're turning a 20-year-old into a 70-year-old or five 20-year-olds into 30-year-olds. Wait, what? No, no, no. That's not what the question's asking. No, the what? question is you're Technically lowering he's not their wrong. lifespan. Lowering their lifespan. Technically, yeah. he's not wrong. You're, which means you're, you're technically aging the person. Their life. Not, you're technically oh, aging the person, but the, not their okay. body. So, yeah, this is, you're looking at it as, like, they rapidly gain those years. I saw it as, no, like, no, 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 they no, no, have no. a predicted death date, and okay. now that death date has been oh, lowered by listen. the year. Oh, listen, Bradley, I'm thinking it as if, as, uh, basically what my brother-in-law is. He has, uh, he has a, uh, disease that he was born with that, like, makes it so his lifespan is extreme. Like, he shouldn't have lived past eight. So, he oh. is currently, let me think here, he is 40 he is technically Whoa. 80. Whoa. Because of how oh, his lifespan God. works. Oh my God. So that's wow. what I'm thinking, is that I am literally, like, they may be this age, but in all honesty, they're probably this age. Like, right. the, if you would have lived 100, now 
Well, you're like now your lifespan's cut to that point, you know? Yeah. All right. So yeah. kind of similar to what I was saying. Hey, don't I, worry about my no. brother-in-law. He's a very happy person. Yeah. He's, fully... he's completely come to yeah. terms with it. So sorry in, in the chat. <laughs> no worries. Yeah. In this situation, nobody is dying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you don't do anything, that person is probably going to die sooner than the five. Yes. But and then plus, it comes like, down to what are you even doing with the last ten years of your life? Like. Probably having somebody else wipe my ass. Yeah, oh my like God. that's I don't a pretty. Him. So we're pulling. You're, this you're saving them from having to pay for retirement. Year olds into thirty year olds. Yeah. yeah, I'm okay with that. You're saving Woo, them from okay. having to pay for retirement, not like stuff. Sixty five percent of people agree. Thirty five percent okay. of people would rather turn one person into an elderly person, dude. It's fucked up, <laughs> bro. Not okay. Oh, <laughs> oh no. A trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to a, the other track, sending the trolley into the future to kill five people a hundred years from now. <sighs> what do you do? Oh, so five nice. people are dying either way. Can I jump through the portal as do well? You... That's my... Like, can would I hop age... on the trolley? I would say that you would age... You wouldn't age by a hundred years. Yeah. I would just oh. be in the future now. I don't want to be in the future, though. The future is scary. The future, the future is now. The future, the future looks like Mad Max Fury Road, and I don't want to be part of Mad Max Fury Road right now. Do you guys I remember when the future... Well, actually, no. Fuck. I was what? about to be like, you guys remember Go when on. the future used to look like... Yeah, it was all like space and like robots and shit like that and cool. Oh and yeah, cool and now it's all just fucking. And now it's just like, oh yeah, this like we're fucked, like, man. We are, we are all gonna die because of our humanity sins. Mm -hmm. Like, like the old, like for me, honestly, in a positive way. Yeah, for me, honestly, the only reason that like I'm not a hundred percent worried about it, I live in the middle of fucking nowhere. Like, I ain't next to sit. Like, I'm next to a city, but I'm far I enough away that I don't have to worry about that shit. I used to live in the middle of nowhere. Now I live in one of the fastest growing cities in the country. <laughs> and you don't like it? I mean, I'm all right with it, but like, if we, if our growth rate can, I made Eventually a joke about you this won't... with some other person way... that like, where Nashville and the Nashville Murfreesboro area is growing mm -hmm. so fast that eventually, I was, I was talking to Kelvin when he was making his little uh, NDA. Uh, he came over to my place and we were talking about, uh, me and Kelvin did, uh, mm -hmm. Kelvin did something is working on something and I'm involved oh, in it. I'm okay. not going to say what it is. Uh, uh, but he came over to my place and we were talking about Nashville and Murfreesboro are growing so fast that eventually it's going to like, <laughs> he made the jump to in a hundred years, it's going to be the United States of Nashville just because Nashville yeah. is yes. so big. There's mm -hmm. a honky tonk on every corner and there's people busking yep. in the street everywhere you go. But like, I don't want to know what a hundred years from now looks like because we hundred years, if I don't, if I don't do anything, I'm going to be, probably dead in 100 years i'm probably going to be dead in 80 hopefully like i don't know medicine's working quick we might live that old doubt it mm. i don't know you might at least be being yeah. the youngest yeah mm. freaking wow only a five-year difference is enough to say that i'm that dude I'm so much but... shit has happened in five years are you kidding me that's true you if literally it, have to look at Google. that yeah so Same. the question becomes Huh? What are you Same. Doing? I'm older than Google. Yeah, I think I am too. I'm older oh. than like the oh, no. desktop computer. No, wait. Google came no, out in 1998. Not. Am I not? When does the desktop computer become a thing? When I'm older it, than flat screen Google TVs. Out? Google came okay. out. Did Google come out in 1998? I don't remember. I'll Google Look it. Shit if up. it came out ah. in 1998, then I'm the same age as Google. Oh God. When so did... coming back to the question. Uh, five people are dying anyway. Do you want to get it oh. over with now, or do you want to wait, put it off for a hundred years? I I'm pulling the lever because I'm a chronic procrastinator. <laughs> Same. <honest>. So, like, <laughs> would you wait to pull a lever though? <laughs> like, like it runs him over and then you pull a lever. It's like fuck. <laughs> but if you were, yeah, especially but if you're a chronic procrastinator, then you wouldn't pull the lever because you would. I, I'm just pulling the lever. I'm just gonna be like eating a chili dog. Being like, I was supposed to do something, and then I just hear the splat. Like, like, oh god! Girl. Pulls the lever late. Okay. Also, Google came out in '96, so actually, I'm as old as Google. Oh my god! Yeah. We're I'm old. I'm the one that's older than Google. 
Yeah. Oh, God. We are the three perfects. Dotto's older than Google. I'm the same age as Google. And Dippy's and younger, than, younger Google. than Google. Exactly. <laughs> Those are the only generations that matter. Go Mine is Dippy, you can call lever. Google an old man. Pulling the lever. Yeah, pulling the lever. Pulling yeah. the lever. Whoop. There he goes. 65% of people would uh, rather not be held accountable for their actions. Yeah. True. It's fine. But then time cops oh, no. will show up. Oh, no. A trolley problem is playing out before you. Do you actually have a choice in the situation, or has everything been predetermined since the universe began? Ah. Uh... In my religion, in my religion, God gave everybody free will, so I have a choice. I same. I don't know. <laughs> Other religious thing, but like fate, fate is such a weirdly like it would have to be so expertly like calculated and everything. Yes, Aluja, like, you are older than me. <laughs> everything would have to be so twistedly like uncharacteristically pre-planned and like out of this world bonkers out of this probability for everything to have been given a purpose since the very beginning you you are right but there is another like idea of it not being like predetermined but more of like we are being controlled and like like puppeteered See, that's just even worse. I don't even I know. Lie, like. I think about it a lot. It, like intrusive thought of like someone's just pulling my strings. I have no like, actions. Like, did like did the person controlling me just do that, or did I just do that? I know yeah, I just see, did that. So, so I, I I'm gonna go with I have a choice, not because I believe in it, but because I because so badly I want, want to. to I want it. to. All right, I have a choice. All right, and then one person dies. All right, 62% of people have a choice. Also, quite a few people oh. haven't made it this far. Congratulations. Yeah. You have solved, solved philosophy. philosophy. We killed 71 people. Actually, I killed 81. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two of us have killed seven. No, two of us have killed 61. Dadly killed 71. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, that... Well, that was fun. Yeah. Actually, are we, we killed what like we, do? Si we killed like sixty six people. We killed fifty six people and five lobsters. Yeah, fifty one people, five robots, and five lobsters. I don't consider myself people, but I don't feel like doing the math on that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, damn. Okay, uh, and like we've been live for like hour and a half. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This yeah, yeah that's probably a good time to start wrapping up. Oh, freaking one of the last. Well, it'll Another, all be together because I've been recording this entire time. Reddit. Isn't there a whole Reddit for trolley problems? Hold on, trolley. Let's okay. see what uh, Dippy's uh, Reddit has been. Put put, put the gonna, P. I'm, Type P for me, no, Dippy. <laughs> I'm gonna go P. Okay, I've been holding it for a bit. Over okay, go. Okay. We're gonna take a little break. We'll be right back. Yeah, absolutely. Be right back. So we're just taking.
Hello, everyone. Otto yelled Again. at me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Don't tell them about it. These are good kids. So, guys, I found another thing. Needle.fun is the website that hosted the absurd trolley problems that you just saw. We found another thing on Needle.fun that kind of goes along the same lines. Dono, can they see this right now? Yes, they can see it. This is Let's Settle This, answering the internet's debates. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get ready to... <laughs> Actually, did you know that you can get uh, sued for royalties if you even say yeah. that? The guy yep, said that on TikTok, and I was like, oh my god, I'm never saying that again. <laughs> Let's right, get so... ready to tussle. To answer questions on the internet. All right. So this is just a rabbit. How do you pronounce yeah. this word? G I F. GIF or GIF. It's GIF. This is this is going by majority because there's only one person answering these questions GIF. on this website. GIF. 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 I say GIF. Why? That's the way that the developer originally developed. Well, it. He, here's the thing. The the name majority GIF. majority wins, my guy. Everybody says GIF. Nobody. <laughs> Right. I think you lose three percent of people yeah. have said yes. listen yeah. you lose right to your uh, like creation after being Whatever. given to the world Whatever right. shut up is the dress blue, blue and black, black or, or white gold? it's both I've seen it's them both that always way always been white and gold I it so always been white and gold I always see it as white and gold but I have seen it as blue and black like I so have the, like I the get dress it. Like, the, the People posted pictures of what the dress looks like on social media where it was blue and black, right? Yes. But then the picture has always, always yeah. been white and gold to me. I agree. It's I've white and never gold. seen it in blue and black. So white the dress in the picture. Oh, there's a picture of it right there. Yeah, that's white and gold. Yeah, that's okay, white and gold. Okay, show me. Wait, how do you get the picture? I, I'm hovering over it right now. Okay, Can yeah. You see it? It's white and gold to me. It's white, it's white and gold. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> wow. What came first, the chicken or the egg? The egg, because there the were egg. eggs. No. There yeah. were eggs that came before chicken. Neil deGrasse Titan. Yeah. That did a good one. Neil on deGrasse that. Titan. Oh, Neil deGrasse. Wait, how do you say his name? Tyson. What? Tyson. Tyson. What? Like the in, like the what cooking food. What are people doing? The ch people are saying the chicken came first. No, the egg came first. Yeah, the egg, egg that hatched the chicken. There are came eggs first. that are not ear. There are eggs that are not chicken eggs mm -hmm. that came before yeah. chicken. Yeah. All right. Should a sandwich Don't be cut diagonally or horizontally? Diagonally. I have. Yeah, diagonally. Horizontally. Whoa. Okay. You better put some like up, my boy. <laughs> I like having little logs of sandwich. Not only should it be cut. Horizontally, it should be cut twice. No. You're Listen, you are if you do it angularly, you have like spots for both your corners. hands to hold it like this. You have the Why would and it pinches it? Because you can, you can you do stuff it. more sandwich in your mouth. It's so it sick that it fall out, damn it. No. And you need two hands for also, a sandwich. Hey, to catch the that's food. a shitty sandwich. No, it's not. It's a big oh, ass sandwich. No, the majority went diagonally. I'm going diagonally. Too much of a good thing. The sandwich should be cut diagonally. Seventy-two percent. Is cereal a soup? Yes or no? Yeah. No. No, it's not. Soup is hot. No. Okay. A soup is a liquid that is a sauce of its own self. Time out. Time out. Time out. Hold on. Time out. Hold on. Okay. Breathe. Cereal is not a soup. It's not. You start. You buy. Listen. 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 Do you buy all of the ingredients to make a soup? You don't Do have you to buy the broth and the water and the vegetables Here's the thing and as the well. meat and the and yeah. you and you cook it and you make gentlemen, the soup. Gentlemen, yeah. gentlemen, let me but say this. Do as you well. do that? But do you do that? Or do you yes. buy it in a can and you just make no, it out I, of the can? Wait, no, I, I make my own soup. Yeah. I me too. Can soup sucks. Yeah, what? Can soup sucks. Ass. Buddy, no, buddy. Come on, oh bro, my <laughs> god, now you're gonna give me an end. <laughs> Listen, we we me and Bradley here, we cook. All right. We fucking we, we cook. Yeah. We love cooking. It is love. Right? Like if you cook for somebody, like your but kids you, or your wife, but, or like but your you, significant other or whatever, fucking it is love. Cereal. Okay. Okay, listen. Listen. Can you eat But cereal, cereal is not a soup. Milk? 
No, you cannot. I mean, you can, but then it's not soup. Cereal is you not a soup. Can. Because soup you, is a combination of all flavors into one and the liquid. Okay, you have to wait for it all to come together before you can consume it. Because if you have okay. it right after you put everything together. But the thing is, is that if cereal can become soup, it becomes soupy cereal because it's soggy. And but then it's cereal your... in and of its own But right cereal is not soup. starting is not soup. It yeah, becomes I, soup. It, you I can make it a soup. Disagree. But it's not. It's not a soup. Oh my God! Eighty percent of people said it's not a soup. <laughs> I don't care. Paper. It's a soup. Toilet paper soup. over or under? Oh, I over. I'm an over person. Yeah. I don't think I've ever thought about this while putting my toilet paper roll on the roll. He's the <laughs> one that just it... stabs it through and then picks it up. Yeah. And like... yeah just. just... <laughs> I go. I go the long way. <laughs> the long way. You just tear off individual squares. I become if I fuck up and I put it under, I feel ashamed of myself, but I don't go back I'm, and fix it. I'm gonna be So real, here's the, the thing. The more I'm under... thinking about it, I think my toilet paper roll is currently sitting on the back of my toilet and I just like pick it up. Yeah. Just unroll it. Yeah. Unroll yeah. it and then put it back. Like yeah. <laughs> see, here's the problem with putting it under, right? If you put if you do, if you go under, it's always so much harder to grab the start of the roll when it's under. When it's when it's over, you just start rolling it and you instantly have the start. When it's under, you have to roll and then you're like, oh shit, wait, the other way. And then you roll it out and then you grab it, which it's probably up against the wall because it's under, because you're stupid. So, Dadley, I have a question for you. Since you have your toilet paper on the back side of your toilet, do you bring your hand around the roll or do you bring the roll around your hand? Uh, neither. I just... I just grab it and I it tear one square. No, I don't. Rotate. No, I just tear one square. You just need a single square. We are not gonna. No, get no. I use right more now. than one square, but I only use one square at a time. We're not getting into this. <laughs> Pepsi or Coke? <laughs> I am learning so much about you. Pepsi or Coke? <laughs> Coke. Yeah, Coke. Coke. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Is pineapple on pizza, good. Yes. I, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, it's oh not, God. Like, Listen, I want to put. It's a smashing of flavors, my guy. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you, you the internet. Like... Pineapple on pizza is good. Listen. Straight up, my favorite pizza I've ever had in my life was a Big Mac pizza. It my had pizza... Thousand Island dressing, lettuce, and pickles on it. Oh my God. Dude. What? And it was so good. Hey, oh, and dude, Mac like, pizza? Right? Dude. Yeah. People always think of pineapple pizza as like the pineapple and ham. Here's my thing. Barbecue pineapple chicken pizza. Oh, yes. Fucking yes. the best yes. fucking thing to ever exist, except for yeah. Philly cheesesteak pizza. That shit smacks. That, oh, that shit. shit. Okay, wonderful. Philly cheesesteak pizza I had... is either really good or really bad. There is no in between. Yeah, I feel you. Here's, Dude, here's, I want pizza. I okay. cannot no, fucking remember. Pizza. <laughs> I cannot remember where this was. We were on a school trip somewhere mm -hmm. down in like Georgia or Alabama or one of those one of the southern eastern states on a field trip mm -hmm. somewhere, and we stopped at a pizza place. I think it was called the Stone. I think it was called the like this the the cold stone top or the stone cold top or something. Like I think that. I've heard something it, like that from. This was not cold, sto no, cold no, no. stone creamery. Where no, 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 no. I got you. Ice. I got you. This is in California, yeah, right? Was... Stone Cold no, 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 no. No, where is no, this? It was in it was in like a southeastern state. I don't remember. Like probably around was. Texas, like uh Oklahoma. Not or, even that no. Place. But this pizza place I've heard of places. We went like in this. and we were getting we were getting like slices of pizza, and you could get pizza by the slice. And I saw that one of the pizzas by the slice was this it was a barbecue chicken pizza and it had like a, a assortment of other ingredients on mm -hmm. it. And I was like, I want that one because that sounds good. It had barbecue sauce as the sauce instead of pizza sauce it yeah. had mm -hmm. the monster it had like the mozzarella provolone mix like an italian pizza it had the barbecue chicken chunks like big chunks of barbecue mm -hmm. chicken on it mm -hmm. it was drizzled in a little bit more of the sauce it had bacon on it it had a nacho cheese drizzle where it was just like this little like stringy drizzle of nacho cheese on top and it was the best fucking pizza I've ever had, but I have never been able to find it, that wait, place Wait, question. Okay. If my argument of 
soup is a combination of all the flavors okay. together being together is pizza mm. not non-liquid soup no. no i mean that's just no. non-liquid soup just makes no sense that's like no that's no. like soup is that's liquid. like that's like saying a non-painted tree all right like, yeah, i'm done with the stupid question now like, let's yeah. go star wars all right Although star my dad would Trek. fight me if he not saw this and say Star Trek. I haven't uh, seen either. I've watched all of the Star Wars movies. And oh, yeah, that's right. We need to do movies. like a watch party with Dadley. Yeah, yeah. I haven't watched that. On, before, in the A&I right. Discord. Star Trek? I mean, if it comes down to personal preference, I'm saying Star Trek. Ooh. I feel... All right, we do have Disney. Out, Plus. From the outside can perspective. Fucking do a watch party. From the party. outside perspective of someone who hasn't watched either, the fans of star trek are more fun to talk to than fans of star wars yeah agreed that's agreed. also a very good point yeah so we do they have a star much trek? better like sense of humor too i think yeah. they do 100 oh my god I, the yeah internet. that makes sense yeah no fandom hates itself more than the star wars yeah. yeah would dogs wear pants on all four of their legs or on their back to the back legs? two i say back two yeah i say back two yeah okay yeah, yeah. I have oh, never yeah, seen on its back two legs. I have never seen a dog that would be clothing like designer of, actually design the pants like that. We have like one made a pair of pants that you stuck both your arms and your legs into. It doesn't yeah. make sense. Because yeah. one, I mean, that's like dogs wouldn't yeah, wear it. They'd are. just be able to come right out of it. And two, <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> Oh you're right. That is just a onesie, though. Oh my god. Well, here's the thing about onesies, though. No, here's the thing about onesies. Dude, pit bulls and onesies don't is go adorable. all the way around the back. This one, it doesn't go all the way around yeah. the back. So my point still stands. Can I that just would be say? Like, okay, so it would be like designing a pair of pants where your arms and legs both go into it, but there's no back. Mm -hmm. So your yeah. your ass and your back and your shoulders are all just hanging out of this pair of pants. That's just laundry. That's that. <laughs> <laughs> but listen wait before we move on white women thank you for putting pajamas on pit bulls they're fucking adorable okay <laughs> okay i didn't think that was where you were going <laughs> i didn't think so either hey all right there's a thank you right. Good Good Jack that's your door. guys's brains by the way <laughs> wait wait, wait. All right, so Mythbusters yes did this yes no. and he no, couldn't Myth fit on the door yeah, no, Mythbusters did this, and the only way Jack could have fit on the door is if they put the life jackets underneath the door. Right. Yeah. But then, so it's like they both would have like perished. They, they both yeah, would have. So, so, so no, no, Jack couldn't have fit on the door. Oh my God! The Everyone's wrong. Is... Watch Mythbusters. Get educated. Watch... Our Get educated, oh, you God, motherfuckers. I'm not ready for this one. I'm not ready for this hot one. Dogs this one. Are hot dogs a sandwich? Yes or no? Hot dogs no. are a taco. It's, it's it's a taco or a sub. It's, it's a taco. It's a type yeah, of sub. It's not, but it's not a sandwich. Oh, good. Most okay. of the internet agrees. Okay. Right. Not, that was a lot more painful. Marvel or DC? Marvel. Marvel. They say, no. Wait, before anyone puts Whoa. That, There are three aspects of these companies now. There is the cartoons... Mm -hmm. The live action mm -hmm. and the comics. Mm -hmm. DC that's... has Marvel in the comics and cartoons. Marvel is only king in the live action movies. Mm -hmm. DC's cartoon shows no, you know, and movies you are right. lap, and their comics are so much better. But that's almost ignoring the fundamental basis of the heroes that are in the all three of those universes. Mm -hmm. Look at the fundamental base heroes of Marvel and DC. Okay. Then I still stand behind DC has better heroes than Marvel. Oh, a lot of, a lot of Marvel heroes are just look at me. I am great. Like DC oh. has more. I have to say Marvel opinion. because Spider Man is by far my favorite fucking net character in the Spider whole goddamn world. Also, no. Marvel has Listen. the uh, what is it? The what's the okay. man that literally like he keeps dying but comes back? Uh. I can't. Yeah, Deadpool? Man? No, not Deadpool. Like this guy Dead actually man? dies. No, that's a ghost Kenny? guy. No, can't. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> he's part of like the gr the Great Lakes Avengers. Oh yeah, I don't. Oh, I, I don't remember. I know what you're talking about, but yeah, I I stand behind DC is better than Marvel and like I. Okay, Marvel's heroes have Marvel's heroes have flaws. And that's what makes them great heroes is that they're I mean, not perfect. Superman does is just is just a perfect okay. hero. Is it? Like there's nothing 
about Superman's like nope. development no, or fundamental reality Appar- that would make okay, me ever so see him as anything more than I just, just looked like, this up. Oh, the catch all be all. Question real quick. I just looked this up for a superhero who keeps dying but comes back. DC has one. Yeah, Dead Man and Constantine. But... Uh theirs is Resurrection Man. Okay, yeah. But so uh my like my point to that, because everyone likes to use Superman as the reference of boring comic books. Right. Superman was made in a day and age where that is what people wanted to read. They wanted the glory day superhero, and then they wrote themselves into a corner having this super amazing can do anything superhero. And what they did was they made an amazing comic story of him losing his dad to a heart attack. This man is can stop anything besides actual humanity. And I think it's one of the most beautiful comic stories ever written. Yeah. So, here. I so just, one of my favorite plus, creators on plus. TikTok did an argument of why Superman, like he can't save everyone, and people have like that whole thing of just like, oh, Superman, he can do everything. Yeah. Um, and it's the difference between the DC movies and the DC comics. And the comics, yeah. like. Kent or Kent is still like his dad is still alive, but in the movie there has to be a reason that Superman yeah. is like the way that he is, and it's because his dad died. But yeah, like and even in the cartoons, his dad's still alive. But yeah, I, like and the reason is because it's not Superman's job to fix the world. Yeah, See, here's, it's just here's to do as much thing. as he can. Here's the other thing. Stan Lee made. Uh, his own versions of DC characters at the request of DC, and there was a series yeah. put out with Stan Lee's interpretations of DC's characters, and I immediately liked all of his interpretations of the DC characters. A I mean, heck they, of a like it was it they because it seemed like there was actual I don't know. I don't, I'm saying because, uh, gentlemen, bottom gentlemen. line, I'm saying Marvel. Gentlemen, who's gentlemen. saying I'm, DC or I'm Marvel? saying DC. DC. <sighs> I gotta say oh, Marvel. I gotta say Marvel. Uh, it's my it's my thing. But oh, to make up for this, what is your favorite uh warp? Like uh, comic warps. Warp? Like warp like when uh, the crossover between DC and Marvel when oh, they yeah, warp their characters saying. together? Oh, um oh that's tough. Fuck. Because that's old. Like a lot not a lot of people. It's not old happened, dude. So. You're older than it. No, I get that. It happened like, like in the nineties. <laughs> No, yeah, but that wasn't a popular comic in the flesh. No. Like that I wish popped. it was. So, like, that was that would have been like so cool. So, uh, th- th- I would probably say Batman and Wolverine. Yeah, that was pretty dope. I can't I remember no what... frame of reference. So <laughs> they made a whole comic book line of Marvel and DC worlds clashing together. Mm-hmm. And like it led to one of my favorite moments in comics of the Joker punching Red Skull and being like, I'm fucked up, but at least I'm not a Nazi. Like <laughs> <laughs> That's great. But it also leads to a comic book panel that is now gaining a lot of traction of Superman with Captain America's shield and Thor's hammer. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, and he's like, no, not that one. Sorry. <laughs> All right. All right. Should, Should we, we get, get rid, rid of, of daylight, daylight savings? Yeah. It's already gone. It's gone someplace. Like, I still in some places. In it. Yeah. yeah. I, I say yes. We don't need it anymore. But should we? I mean, I don't yeah. care either way. I'll say yes. I, I, yes, yeah, get rid of it. I, I, it's I, not just, needed. Yeah. The rest of the world doesn't yeah. use it. It's just America. Only marginally, though. Did you know that Xbox Arizona doesn't station. use daylight savings? Yeah. Arizona, like, yeah, no, it never really has. And it hasn't changed. Some places that shit. in Arizona do, which makes it very confusing when you're driving through Arizona. Yeah. Uh, Xbox. You drive through Arizona? I thought you just melted in there. I've always been a PlayStation kid. Me but too. I have no real Honestly. Like, to be fair, I was Nintendo more than anything. Okay. See, this question has no bearing on me because I'm a PC player now, so this doesn't matter. Yeah. But when I was growing up, I oh, had thank you. a PS3. Thank you for the bits. Oh, thank you for the bits. R.I.P. Thank you for the bits. Over did. So I'm saying PlayStation. Bradley's saying PlayStation. Don't. Um, I have been an Xbox player for very, very long, but I've always just liked games for the story. And PlayStation yep. has a lot more adventure games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so I'm on, I'm on more PlayStation. Also, I just bought that. two PlayStation 4s, and they're now in my house. So I, are we also... Are we living in a simulation? No. Yes. Even if the simulation isn't run by anyone else, the thing going on inside my brain is closer to a computer than anything organic. True. 
I suppose you're it, right. It, it might. Everyone is living a simulation, in their own simulation. But. A simulation would imply would almost imply that nothing. Like, I have free will, so no, we're not living in a simula simulation. Right. I'm okay saying no. Oh mm -hmm. my god, fifty one percent, just barely. Wow. Wow. What if we were that is, one percent change? <laughs> is is Die Hard a Christmas movie? I don't know. Yes, I haven't no. seen it. Bruce Willis came out on stage at one of the Comic Cons. I don't know which one. It was like New York Comic Con or San Diego Comic Con, whatever it was. And someone asked him, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? And he said, I've been getting this question for years, and I can unequivocally say, no, Die Hard is not a fucking so, Christmas movie. It takes place is, on Christmas, but it is not a Christmas movie. This is so my saying, stance on it. Mm -hmm. I say yes, because how many people watch it on Christmas? Yeah, it fair. Is, it, is, it wasn't made to be a Christmas movie, but that movie has now joined so many family Christmas traditions fair. that yes, it's a Christmas movie. Okay. Very fair. So that's a yes from Dadley and a no from me. I guess no, because I don't. I've never seen the fucking movie, so I don't know. You need to watch it. I know it airs on Christmas time, but yeah. Ooh, more Ooh. people said no. Okay. All right, middle brownie piece or edge piece? Middle. Edge, edge. The ed you guys are insane. Middle I brownie like, piece. Middles like are brownie. only good for with ice cream. Yes. Fast. The edge pieces, edge pieces. You take it out of the bin, you just go at it and walk. To but be if fair, you, okay, becomes finger food. The, middle pieces, middle you pieces. have to dirty dishes for it. No, the the best piece of a brownie is cut a piece long enough that you're getting both edges. Yeah, dude. And just have one long so brownie. okay, Bradley. I have what is a uh, peacemaker, like a like perfectly makes each John Cena? No. Okay. So each eat like it's a grid that oh, I you put into the pan. Sheet. And yeah. so every yeah. piece is an edge piece. So also See, but that's fair, cheating though. That's just making like that's just making like brownie muffins almost. See, that's what I was gonna say is I make my brownies in a muffin pan more often than not. Like Right. But if you make a pan of brownies, the middle the piece is uh, if you fuck up a pan of brownies, what are the only edible pieces if you fuck up that pan? The middle pieces. Okay. That's you're fine. not going to eat an edge piece on a fucked up pan of brownie, but you don't know that. You don't know I, that you're not going to fuck up your next pan of brownies. I do know that. I'm I good curse at you. I curse you to mess up your next pan of brownies. I, I swear to God, if I do, I'm coming for you. You will mess up your next pan of brownies and you will remember me and you will thank me will for never having the middle pieces. I will never make a good pan of brownies until I carry an old the woman on the edge. desert. God damn. Yeah. Just barely, though. Just barely. Shoot. Sock? Sock, shoe, sock, shoe, or sock, By sock, the way, shoe, after I'm done with this shoe. stream, I'm making pizza and brownies when, yes. I'm, when I'm done. Because right. I'm now craving right. that shit. So, right. do you put on your sock One. and then your shoe and then the other sock and then the other shoe or do you put on both socks first and then both shoes i do both socks first socks and then shoes socks and then both shoes yeah because if i get like, both socks done i can just slip my shoes right on yeah right yeah no you like i who okay when was the last yeah, time each one of us actually tied a shoe uh today i wear boots a lot for work like a month ago <laughs> <laughs> about the same with dippy so iPhone or Android? I use Android and I've never I owned use an iPhone. iPhone. Huh? I've never owned an iPhone. Android. I've owned an iPhone. Android's are better. Oh, oh boy. Oh. My son's having a crisis. Oh. I have always owned an iPhone and I... I've tried using Androids before. I have not liked them. But yeah, if I Android just... Is a... I had an iPod Touch. <laughs> Whoa. IPhone. Whoa. Oh boy. See, because here's the thing, right? About iPhone versus Android. Android is like you can make Android into whatever you want to make it. Yeah. And then you have iPhone, which is like, you want the tailor-made experience. Yeah. This was designed for this purpose. And it was like, yes, I want it done for me. I don't want to have to I do see, it I myself. Don't. I don't want to have to, I don't want to have to load in a custom BIOS for me to have like custom like titty pick notification sounds like i just want what, is the what sound does that sound like i think it sounds like bonkers
Anyway. Right, two. Two more questions. Does a straw have one hole or two? One. It two. Has one hole. It has, it has one, one hole. hole. If you, okay, you take a straw, you, you, isometrically flatten it down yeah. to its most planar state. Is there one hole in the donut that that creates, or are there two holes? There's, There's one, one hole through the middle. I. Yeah, no, and the only way it would have two holes. The only way that a straw Dibby, did you just holes. say straws are long donuts? Yes, kind of. Yeah. It's because they are yeah. topographically a torus, T O R U S, is a shape which is a long, it is a connected, it's like it's a flat plane with one hole in the middle that yeah. has material stretched around so that it connects back on itself, and that's what a donut is like. And there's no way that you can modify that shape topographically or geometrically yeah. to have less than or more than one hole. Yeah. It always has one hole. And if you fl and if you flatten that donut so that that hole is just the you're basically taking the inner wall of that yeah. hole, that's what a straw is. It has one yeah. hole. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The internet is stupid. 42% of people. Oh my god! It's fine. We're in the majority. Are uneducated, uneducated. They don't know. We're teaching them. Finally, smooth or chunky peanut butter. Smooth. Smooth. Chunky. Oh god. Uh, okay. No, I'm not in the mood to like swallow bits when I yeah, eat my I wanted, horizontally crust sandwich. If I wanted peanuts in my sandwich, I would open a jar of peanuts yeah. and just pour it onto my sandwich and then I would choke and die Listen, because it's, that's disgusting. It's an experience. <laughs> it's an experience. <laughs> Choking is an experience. Do you want to choke? The pieces aren't yeah, big enough to wait. choke. <laughs> We've already made the majority smooth peanut butter. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright. 72%. Oh my, oh my god. Oh, How here? much longer has the stream become because of this? It's literally almost a two hour recording, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah we should so start this wrapping went up. Right, yeah, let's wrap up. This went by a little sharing. quicker than I imagined it would be. Guys, we need to give our life advice, and we're. Oh boy, I can already feel what kind of life advice we're going to get. Hello. So, my life advice is. Um, Google exists for a reason. Educate yourself. <laughs> Look up answers to these questions. And if you're not satisfied with the answer, then continue to look my, until you have a satisfactory answer. My life advice is apparently get yourself an enemy. You'll get main character energy. <laughs> and Dono. My advice is take the picture. If you have a moment in life, take a picture. Even if it's that. just one. That's yeah. a good that's a good piece of advice. Hey, and on that note Can I can I do something real shitty for one second then? Oh boy, what's that? If you go to papershootscameras.com backslash Dadley Jenkins, you can get ten percent off your own camera to take hey, a picture. Hey, there you go. Honestly, Dadley the photos you've been putting own, up I, has it's his very own tempting response. to me. It's very tempting. Yeah, I, They're really I nice. I genuinely love this camera. Check out my Instagram, Dadley Jenkins, if you want to see the pictures I've been taking with my little thing. It's been a lot of fun. So, on that note... On that note, guys... Oh, shit, I stopped sharing. Should I have not done that? Nah, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> okay. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And as all, uh, we'll be back next week with... Something. Oh, who's next? Who would be next? It would either be me or Dono. Uh, I don't it'd be you. Would it be me? Because yeah, you. okay. Then we're coming back next week with one of my Wordle Part Three. <laughs> Wordle Three. Woohoo! No, we're not coming back with Wordle Three. I haven't even thought about Wordle since we recorded Wordle Two. Like, oh, I still do Wordle every day. You are a better man than I because I gave up on regular Wordle as soon as we were done recording Wordle Two. Like, oh, I've really? joined Dono in the fuck Wordle camp. <laughs> Oh, I still play like, Wordle. I play Wordle every day, and I play Framed every day. I have tried I would... to play Wordle on my own. I'm slightly successful, but I right. don't know enough fucking words in this world. <laughs> and until next time, 
your adventure matters. Roll for initiative and stay dapper. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Goodbye. Oh.